Hey YouTube, how are we doing today? That's right, we've got something from CRKT here on the channel. I know, you're so friggin' shocked, right? It's either gonna be CRKT or a Gerber. I mean, that's generally a, <laughs> what we do here, right? But anywho, stay tuned after we roll that intro. Yeah, roll the intro. I'm gonna show you exactly what came in that box. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel, first of all, I want to say thank you for putting up with my really lame joke. You already know what's going to be in the box. Because it's in the intro video, it's in everything else that you chose to you know, watch today. And secondly, thanks so much for giving me some of your time. I know it's your most precious commodity and I'm very, very grateful that you're going to spend it on my channel. Hopefully I'm going to earn some more of it here with this video. It's going to be a weird one, so I hope you're ready for a fun one. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel and you long-time viewers who have yet to do it, look right down here. Should be a little channel watermark popping up. All right, go ahead, click on that thing. Should bring you right to subscribe. Knock it out the way early and you're going to feel better about yourself for the rest of the day because you're coming along for the ride. Now, guys, let's get into the fun. Today, we're going to take a look at the CRKT Crawford Casper 6773Z like Zulu. Yep, Zulu. All right, had to make sure. Now, we have reviewed some other Crawford Casper blades here before on the channel, and I want you to take a look right up there. Okay, this is going to be a card for every single everyday carry blade that we brought to the channel. You will find two of them in there. One's Desert Tan and one's OD Green. And this is how you can tell it's an older CRKT model. Look at that right there. But that's okay. Now, before we go too much further, Jason, Jason Keating, you big, wonderful, loving bastard you, I made mention of this in that Facebook group. You said you want one. You need to get a hold of me, because this is yours. Simple enough, Jason? Following me? Send me a direct message, bro. Okay. It is a big, beefy, burly dude. I really like it. I've gotten over the fact with the locks, the, the lock system, I've gotten used to them, so, you know, it's no longer a real big hassle to me, and we'll get into that in a moment. I just, I love its size, I love its weight, I love how it feels in the hand, I love the finger troll that they gave there with that little bit of extended, you know, pushback in here, for lack of a better phrase, where your hand just fits beautifully. The aggressive forward jimping is great, which almost blends in perfectly with the lock system. And you really can't go wrong with black on gray and a blade, you just can't. Now, it's got an overall length of 9.25 inches, the blade's 3.75 Enclosed, it's 5.375. It has a huge weight to it for a folder of 7 ounces. Of course, it's a big blade, right? It's about as big as some fixed blades. But still, got the plain edge with a hollow grind, done in a clip point style. Like I said, it's got the gray finish, and it's 8CR14 MOV for the blade steel. Great budget steel, going to take an edge, going to hold it for a while, and it's not too hard to sharpen. Now, these scales are black Zytel, which I'll be honest, I've never really truly liked because they feel slippery to me. You know, if you get wet hands or bloody hands or muddy hands, I, I've had problems holding on to a blade before. Now, it's only got a one position pocket clip, so it's right hand carry tip down. Now, like I said, it does have the lock system, uh, the something Walker knife safety. I can't remember the guy's first name. I'm sorry. Basically, what it does is when you move this forward, I don't know if you can see it too well right in there, that little moving piece, it comes down and it prevents the frame lock from closing. That way you cannot close the blade with that being um, engaged. Excuse me, it's a liner lock. Forgive me, liner lock. Now it does have a stainless steel frame in here. I did like the little weird gray um, backspacer in here, which is kind of cool, it blends in nice and beautiful. And it does have a lanyard hole. And in case you're wondering, yep, made in China. No biggie. Seriously. Now, let's have some fun. Heavy duty stock paper. Oops. <laughs> yeah. There I am, letting myself get ahead of myself. Yeah, it needs to be stropped a little. No biggie. Because I can already see. Paper flex. I mean, 
Paracord. Ah, yeah. I think I need to sharpen her up or strop her up. That was a bit of a pull. Slice. That went through, no problem. Mr. Ratchet Strap. Yeah, that went through. Okay. Now, this has been discontinued by CRKT. Over on Blade HQ, it's out of stock, but they have it at a value of $18.95. Been reviewed twice, and it got a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. Now, I found one pretty identical to this one over on Amazon, and it's got a silver blade instead of the gray, and it's got a value of $28.94. It's been reviewed 52 times and has a 4.8 rating out of 5 stars. But here's the important part, okay? I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. I especially want to know from you, do you think it's nice or an F-bomb? Nice or an F-bomb? Seriously, I know when I reviewed these at first, I was kind of unsure if I liked them or not, but the ones that I have have seriously grown on me. But let's go to the wrap up and knock it out the way, because I know Jason's probably already burning up, you know, my Facebook instant messenger going, I love it, it's awesome, gimme, 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 gimme. Jason, I love you, you big huggable bear you. I know you've been through enough, brother, and if this brings you any kind of happiness, I am delighted to send it to you. Seriously, get a hold of me. Love you, brother. All right. Now, if you first time viewers of the channel, thank you so much for, you know, viewing this video. Like I said in the beginning, and I think it bears repeating, I'm very grateful you chose to watch this video. There are hundreds of options out there, even thousands upon millions, and I'm grateful that you're choosing my channel. It means the world to me. Now, for you first timers who didn't do it at the beginning of the video, and you long time viewers who have yet to subscribe, man, take a look right down here. Gonna make it real easy for you. Big channel symbol gonna be popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing, it's gonna bring you right to subscribe. After you've knocked that out the way, please destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because it's gonna notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are gonna be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube's going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. Oh, now there we go. It's the Lake and Walker Knife Safety. I knew I'd remember that freaking L. Sorry, guys. But there we go. My weird look at the CRKT Crawford Casper 6773 Z like Zulu. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day today.